East Salinas is getting some revitalization soon. A community center that shut down because of COVID is getting some state money to rebuild. Action News A reporter Alani Latang is live outside that center with our story tonight. Alani? Aaron, the Hebron Family Center used to offer 100 programs for kids and youth in this area of East Alisal, but now with the money to rebuild it, it'll once again benefit thousands of more kids. With my mom making me like go to the community centers and take part of their youth programs, it really got me out of my shell and made me find things that I love. The Hebron Family Center in East Alisal used to be a place of exploring and belonging for kids. It offered dozens of programs from dance to citizenship classes, even karate. The center is shut down because of COVID-19 and has stayed closed because the building needs so much work. When we closed it for COVID, we really realized the impact of what that did to our community. The building is quite literally structurally unsound. I mean, we can't even fix it. The city planned to use money from the American Rescue Plan, also called the COVID-19 stimulus package. Now it doesn't have to. Assembly member Robert Revis, along with stakeholders, secured $17 million from the state tax surplus to be used for community projects on the Central Coast. 8.1 million of that will be used to rebuild the Hebron Center. Something like this, uh, it provides a critical service and, and in some cases it's a lifeline for so many of our residents um, here in the Alisal, but really across the city. City Council member Orlando Orsinio says his district, the east side, the Alisal, needs support, funding and attention just like the other areas of Salinas receive. Where are these youth? You know, uh, if we're not servicing them with those hundred programs that are designed to be able to, you know, help out mom and dad, to help out those youth, um, to be able to um, give them something to do after schools, uh, what, what, where are they? So that's why it was more important for us as a city um, to be able to make sure that this got fully funded. We're hearing the community that they're not being forgotten. The remainder of the $17 million for community projects on the Central Coast, $7 million will go to the Ramsey Park in Watsonville, $750,000 will go to San Benito County for a large regional park, and then a million dollars is going to go to research for INSV, which is an invasive virus that impacts um, leafy greens here throughout the Salinas Valley. Reporting live in Salinas, I'm Alani Latang, KSPW Action News 8.